Good day, everybody. My name is Gene, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts on buying a car. First thing, vehicle selection. I find a lot of people will come into a dealership and they don't even know what they want. So first things first, know what you want. Educate yourself on the price. Uh, Cars.com, Autotrader.com, NADA, Kelly Blue Book will give you a really good idea of what them cars are selling for. Once you find the car that you want and you've narrowed it down, go to the dealerships, drive them, go test drive three or four cars. Remember, this car you're going to have for 48 months, 60 months, four to five years is usually regular. Some of these financing even go as long as seven years. So whatever you get, you want to make sure you're going to be happy with and it's going to be something that's going to work for you and your family. So vehicle selection is very important. So once you find a vehicle that you do like, go to the dealership, drive it. A lot of dealerships will actually let you take the car home and test drive it. They call an overnight test drive. So take advantage of that. If you qualify for that, great. Number two on buying a car that a lot of people really miscalculate is credit. Know what your credit is. It's like going to the doctor. Let them stick a thermometer in your mouth and check your temperature. Well, you're going to do the same thing. But instead of going to car dealership after car dealership and letting them all check your temperature, go to your local credit union. You're always going to get a better interest rate at a credit union, and they're going to give you an idea of where you stand. Rule of thumb, credit union, for every five grand you borrow, you're going to pay back about $85. So that's about $170 for every 10 grand you borrow on a $20,000 purchase, you're looking somewhere around $350 a month. Credit union is always the best way to go. But again, know where you stand. Nowadays, good credit is going to be $600 and above. So by knowing where you stand with credit, it gives you a good idea of where you stand with payments and interest rate as well. So before going into the dealership, make sure you educate yourself on a couple things. First thing, what are you looking to buy? What the price of that vehicle that you are looking at to buy? And then to your credit, go check your temperature, see where you stand. Creditkarma.com, freecreditreports.com. A lot of your credit report, uh, credit cards will actually uh, pull your credit and give you a good idea of where you stand at as well. So again, guys, first video I'm doing on the do's and don'ts of buying a new car. So again, first, know what you're buying. Do you want a car, truck, or SUV? I have a lot of people that walk into a dealership looking at one car and leaving something completely different. Find out what you're looking for, get a good idea of what you want, it makes the car buying process a lot easier. Two, credit. If you have bad credit, that's okay too. There's subprime lenders, uh, you'll have a higher interest rate with subprime lenders. But you know, nowadays everybody needs a car. So if you have bad credit, good credit, in between credit, it doesn't matter. There's gonna be some financing out there for you. So I wanna thank everybody for checking out the video. I'm gonna put up some more in-depth videos on buying a car. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Please click the subscribe button and we look forward to seeing your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you and have a great day.